What's up you guys? Welcome back to Trev's Kingdom. Today we're going to be doing a Pokemon hunt video. We're going to go to multiple stores, Target, Walmart, Barnes and Noble, and see what we can find. Um, I'm really excited to have you guys here. If you're new, give yourself a pat on the back for coming. And please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. I'm new here, so just enjoying the Pokemon journey and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. We're going to come back to the studio and open it up some tins that we're gonna find. Um, we're gonna leave the packs for another video and also the ETBs. So go check out my other videos of some sleeved boosters and some ETBs. Uh, but today we're gonna do the hunt and see what we can find in those tins. So without further ado, here we go. What's going on you guys? We're here at Target. Um, gonna do some Pokemon card hunting. Hoping to find something at this Target. I've really never been to this Target the entire time I've lived here, so I'm hoping that there's something good here. So let's check it out. Let's see what we can get here, guys. All right, you guys, there's literally nothing at this Target. We're gonna go check the back. So they've got these Pokemon, like 25th anniversary Charmander, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Pikachu. Don't see any cards over here though. All right, you guys, there was nothing there. Um, it was worth going, but nothing at that target. So I think we're gonna hit Walmart really quick. There's one pretty close. So we'll see if there's anything there. All right, you guys, we made it to Walmart. Hopefully we can find something here. I've also never been to this Walmart. So let's see what we got. All right, you guys. This Walmart is completely wiped as well. All we've got is this. Sun and Moon Elite Trainer Box. I've seen these kind of around. Not sure why. It's like kind of old. <laughs> so I'm like, why do they still have these? Sun and Moon Base Set. Um, I'm tempted to get it, but there's nothing in Sun and Moon Base Set that I really love. And I know my poles and Elite Trainer Boxes are bad, so I'm not going to get it. But. Yeah, totally wiped out. All right, guys, we are at another Walmart. So hopefully at this one, we find something. This Walmart is literally kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I'm gonna be really surprised if they have Pokemon cards, but if they do, I don't know how they would sell them out, but who knows? All right, you guys, wish me luck at this Walmart. I really hope that they've got something. You guys, the drought continues at this Walmart. There's literally nothing. This has got to be where they were, and there's just nothing. Man. On to the next door, I guess. Come on, Target. Come on. All right, you guys, we finally found something. Um, they also have these EV tins, which is pretty cool. I'll probably pick one of those up. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy we finally found something. Um, Let's go ahead and get a couple of, let's get this, this pack here. And I think we'll get the Vaporeon. And I don't think I need any more battle styles with Chilling Rain. <laughs> so let's just do that. You can also only buy two things. So, oh, sorry, five things. They changed that. So anyways, at least we found something, right? All right, guys, we finally got something. So I ended up getting both those tins. I got the Vaporeon and the Flareon because I'm like, honestly, so I live in Utah and there's like nothing in any of the other stores. So, success. Let's get back and open these here pretty soon. Okay, so we're going to try one more Walmart. It was literally across the street from that last Target where it was successful. So we're going to try it, see how it goes. And if there's nothing here, it'll be the last of like the Superstores. And we'll probably do like a game store um, to continue it. So... But yeah, this is going to be the last Superstore, so let's hope there's something here. Well, you guys, another drought. The Walmarts have struck out for us. There's magic. The only thing I could see was, like, these card sleeves. With lapis. Kind of cool, I guess. But, yeah, other than that, absolutely nothing. So, I think we just stick with the Target stuff and we'll open them up. All right, guys, so apparently this Barnes & Noble has some ETBs and packs, so we're gonna check it out really quick. 
All right, this is the official last stop of the day. We're going to Barnes & Noble number two. The first one was a success. We got elite trainer boxes, so I wanted to come to this one to see what they had. So let's see what they've got. So we were able to get four packs and you can only buy two per person. So my wife had to come help me. Hold out what you got. So she got two packs, I got two packs. Success. All right, you guys. We're back here in the studio to showcase these tins that we found. I'm really excited that we were able to snag these. Um, excited to see what's inside. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and move around the camera so we can get the uh, opening started. But we've got the Flareon tin, Jolteon tin, and the Vaporeon tin. So really excited about these. Let's crack into these. All right, you guys. Let's get started here with the Vaporeon tin first. So let's bust this thing open. I'm really excited about these. Uh, the tins bring back a ton of nostalgia for me. I don't know about you guys, but <clears throat> like the 2010s around there, I was opening tins with my buddy and it was just like always so exciting. I just dropped the Vaporeon. Now this is a cool V card. I love this V card. I started with Vaporeon because Vaporeon is my favorite but this is a cool V card. So just so you guys can see, this is how they open them. It's kind of, I mean, this is how they seal them with this black thing. I mean, I guess that makes it safer. Um, not really sure we're gonna put Vaporeon right there. And there's the code card for you guys. Happy to give that to you guys today. And then comes kind of what you'd expect, you know, some spacer, an empty tin, and then you got Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield Base. So we're gonna get right into these packs. Uh, I'm just gonna do this one by one as far as tins go. So let's start with Sword and Shield Base first. It's kind of a uh, set I have not opened very much. So let's get into it. Um, the Chase cards, you've got the gold, Samazenta, Zacian, and you've got a green code card. <laughs> and you've got, let's see who else, uh, Marnie, Full Art Marnie. So any of those would be cool. Let's see what we can get. Fire Energy, Pokemon Lady, Doug Trio, Salazzle. Oh, I didn't mention also the Rainbow um, Snorlax VMAX. Snorlax VMAX is fun to say. Wooloo, Clobopus, Skroopy. Vulpix and Rillaboom. All right, you guys, not too much from that pack to start off, but I'm just happy to be here opening packs, you know? It's uh, Saturday here, and um, this week I was able to go do the hunt, and you know, the Walmarts were kind of empty. Um, oh man, this card's got a little damage on it. You see that? It's too bad. Um, the Walmarts I went to were empty. Oh, this code card was backwards. Um, but we were able to get that, these tins at that Target and then Barnes and Noble. So I also got some Evolving Skies uh, Elite Trainer Boxes from Barnes and Noble that I have a video on, just the Elite Trainer Boxes, so go check that out. Um, but the hunt was fun. Uh, that's kind of the point, is just to have a good time, see if we can find some good Pokemon cards in the wild. Always nice to get stuff at retail. That's why it's fun to go to Target and to Walmart. Um, most local game shops are a little bit overpriced right now, but nothing too crazy. Crobat, so another kind of dud. Not too bad, I guess that's technically a hit. Now, I gotta tell you guys something. Unpopular opinion, I love Chilling Rain. It's weird though, because I know the pull rates are not good but the cards in it are so cool. I think that it's pretty underrated right now. Um, usually when you go to your targets, they always have, like the Chilling Rain is kind of the last to go, which I understand it's probably because the pull rates are bad. Now this one does not have a code card. No code card. <laughs> no code card in that pack. Definitely an error. So let's see, we got one. I want to count the card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, they used to give us 
At least they gave us the right amount of codes, right? Okay, nothing again in that pack. So, starting to get a little nervous for this Vaporeon. Team Vaporeon, you're not doing too hot. So, Evolving Skies, are you going to revive us? Obviously, Evolving Skies, you guys know the chase cards. I'm not going to repeat them. Um, but, such a fun set. Wow, all these code cards have been mixed up and backwards. Another green, though. I need to stop looking at the code cards at the beginning because it's just kind of a buzzkill, you know? Tentacool. Uh, we're going to go fast through this one. Lillipup, Applin, Pikachu, Cutie Fly, Eevee. Oh my, yes! Finally! I have opened so many Evolving Skies packs. I don't even care what this other card is. Lilligant, whatever. I have opened so many Evolving Skies packs and I have yet to pull the Reverse Hollow Pikachu. Yes! You'd think I just pulled a an alternate art or something for how happy that just made me. But I have been tracking that Pikachu down. We are sleeving that up. This In this video, this counts as a hit for me. I have opened up... I don't know how many packs of Evolving Skies, but quite a few. And I've got two booster boxes I'm going to be opening up here in about a week or two. And I still haven't pulled this. I love this card. It's so cool. Oh my gosh. Sweet. Let's sleeve up Vaporeon while we're at it. I always keep sleeves on my desk because you never know when you're going to be opening Pokemon cards and you don't want to be left sleeveless. I love this Vaporeon. So I got the Vaporeon alternate art from uh, Japan. I ordered it. Uh, and I'm excited to hear that they're coming out with that new uh, premium collection of Vaporeon. And we're going to be able to get the alternate art and the alternate art V and the alternate art V Max. Uh, that comes out December 3rd for any of you guys wondering. So now we're going to go into this Flareon. Um, but yeah, December, December 3rd, you're going to get the Kanto Starters, or not Starters, the Kanto Evolutions. Um, they're special arts. So. Pretty excited about that. I knew they were gonna come out eventually somehow, um, because they can't leave out the Kanto evolutions. I mean, they're usually the fan favorites. Kanto stuff, the Kanto vibes. Everyone, everyone loves them. They're the originals. Sorry if that was loud. I just smashed the tins together. But here we go. We're gonna go the same order this time. So Sword and Shield base. But yeah, December third. Um, I don't know where the best place to buy those is going to be. I'm going to get one of each. However that happens, I don't really know. But I'm hoping that I can get one of each. Because that's what I want. I want to get those special arts. I, I'm collecting the special arts in Japanese of the Vs, not the V Maxes, Because those are going to be like three grand a piece. But I love the Kanto uh, Evolutions. Because I mean, who doesn't? Man, that's a cool artwork. They should have made that in... They should have made this like a shiny Lapras. Shiny Lapras with holographic. That is a cool artwork. That is a cool artwork. And I hate to say this, but I think it's kind of wasted being on a non-holo rare. Nonetheless, Battle Styles. Also another good set, guys. Go get yourself some Battle Styles. If it's cheap, if you can get it at a discount... Oh my gosh, I just saw something. <laughs> Oh no, what have we got here, folks? Okay, one, two, three, four. So what are the chase cards in battle styles? I've got the Tyranitar, I've got the Empoleon. Honestly, I'm fine with anything from, from this set. I don't know this set super well. Um, Dottler, Karkle, there is definitely something back there. Baltoy, Mienfu, Pachirisu, Tepig, Oh, and here we go. Mustard, and what we got? Oh, Dabu Coco V Max. Hey, I don't mean to say that I'm sad. That's still cool. Dabu Coco V Max, a card that I honestly did not know existed. Centering's not terrible. It's like almost, it's almost like this got shifted that way because it's like off centered this side and this side. But hey, Dabu Coco V Max, it's a V Max. I will take it. That's kind of our first hit of the day, honestly. Besides Pikachu, which we love Pikachu. Let's leave up that Flareon. That Pikachu reverse hollow though. I do like it a lot. 
and I'm considering it a hit today, guys. I don't care. You guys might all hate me for that, but I'm doing it. Doing it for the video. Doing it for myself, for my personal collection. Chilling Rain, I really want to pull the Blaziken. I really want to. I really want to pull the Blaziken. That card is so cool. The Blaziken VMAX, Altar. Let's see what we can do. Come on, do us well, Chilling Pain. One, two, three, four. Um, have you guys opened up these tins yet? Let me know. Um, do you enjoy opening up tins? Do you think they're a waste of money? Um, I think they're fun. You automatically get a V card, so it's kind of cool. Hair Cross, Peony, and Zangers. So I think it makes it fun. Uh, you could open up a variety of packs. Sometimes I get tired of just opening one set at a time. So it's kind of fun to cross sets, find cards that you didn't know existed, like Tapu Koko V Max. See, I like when they do this. See, I can't see what color the code card is. I like that. One, two, three, four, but it's weird. Only in these tens have I seen that. So, Energy, Aroma Lady, Boldor, Floet, Scraggy. See, like, I've opened up so much of all my skies, like these cards, I just like. I mean, it's just like muscle memory seeing these cards, like Dwebble, Carvana, Mareep, pretty cool, and Thievil. Stealing our hearts. Stealing our hearts. Thievil. Always stealing our hearts. Not in a good way. Stealing our hearts away from us because we didn't get anything. So in that tin, we got the Tapu Koko. Kind of a cool card. And we obviously got the Flareon, which you can only get in these tins. Last but not least, the Electric Kitty. Jolteon. The Electric Kitty. We got the Fire Kitty, the Electric Kitty, and the Water Kitty. I like the Water Kitty out of these ones. But Umbreon and Espeon are my favorites. Umbreon and Espeon are my favorites for sure. I remember as a kid when those came out, when Umbreon and um, Espeon came out. Here's the code card for you guys. I was so stoked. I was like, these guys are so cool. Like at that point, I was kind of like, not sick of the 151, but just like, I knew them so well, you know? So it was fun to get some new Pokemon. All right, you guys. Last 10 magic. We're going in the same order. Sword and Shield base. Give us a Full Art Marnie or a Golden Zamazenta. Code card. One, two, three, four. Or a Golden Zacian. I don't know which one I like better. Some I, I bought Shield. No, no. I bought Sword, actually. If that tells you anything. That I bought Sword. Because I liked Zacian at the time. And Lantern. Nothing. Man, okay. So far we've been a little dry. I'm kinda thinking maybe I should have left these sealed. Nah, I'm just kidding. I can still, these are gonna be readily available. These are something Target always carries. So if I want some sealed one, I'm sure I can go pick them up. Oh man, another green for battle styles. Another green for battle styles. What have we got? Energy, Durant, Girder, Tower of Darkness, Mawile. Onyx, Remoraid, what the? <laughs> I've not seen that Zubat. Look at them. It's cool because these are all like on the. All of these. A lot of these artworks are like in the game, you know? Like these take place in Sword and Shield, which is cool. I really like that about this. Okay, Chilling Rain. Come on. Give me an alt art of some. Give me one of the alt art birds. I've got the Moltres. I bought the Moltres, I will admit, I bought it. I didn't pull it, I bought it. Well, give me one of the birds. Ah, oh, yes, it's white. Okay. Now just don't be a hollow, don't be a hollow. One, two, three, four. I think it's a hollow. I think it's a hollow, because I didn't see anything back there. Weeding gloves. Flaffy. Shuppet. Kubfu. Blitzel. Quillfish. Quabapus. Cool Porygon. A guard bore. Hollow rare nonetheless. So guys, how have we done? This is we're on the last pack. Last pack, we've gotten one VMAX. <laughs> one VMAX. 
out of the three tins. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know what to think about that. If this is the Umbreon VMAX alternate art. Sorry, I just shook the camera. If this is the Umbreon VMAX alternate art, I won't open Evolving Skies again. Except for when I get the booster boxes, then I probably will still. But I won't complain about these tins. If this is the alt art. And code card. Umbreon alt art. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Last pack magic, guys. Once again, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for being part of the hunt to find these. And just thanks for being part of the journey. Carvana, Dwebble, Mareep, Drowsy, Scraggy, and Gyarados V. Okay, last hit of the day, Gyarados V. So there's your recap. You see them on screen. These are our hits and the cards that we got. I'll take it. Thank you guys for being a part of this journey. Thank you for coming on the hunt with me to find these. Hey, you know, we did pretty good. I'll take it. Um, go get you some of these. They're fun. You can leave them sealed if you want. Um, do whatever you want. Do what makes you happy. Spend your money how you want. And just have a good time enjoying Pokemon. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.